Mortal Kombat 1 has an amazing roster full of characters with different moves, play styles, frame data, damage, and more, but there is no arguing that there are some characters that are essentially worse than all the rest, meaning they might lack some mix-up game, they might have terrible damage or bad frame data, or a multitude of different reasons. So here are my top five worst characters in Mortal Kombat 1. Now before we get into the list, let me get something very clear. Though these characters, in my opinion, are objectively the worst, in the right hands, they can be absolutely insane. Like the characters that I'm gonna list here, I've seen some pro players use them and they are crazy. It's all about the player behind the controller in my opinion. And again, just to state, though I think they're not great, they can be amazing in the right hands. So with that being said, let's get into it. In no particular order, first on my list is Natara. Though her voice is terrible, she's actually not a great character in my opinion. She lacks a great mix-up game, so it can be really hard to open your opponent up to actually get the combos in. And though she's got pretty good damage, it's just hard to get that damage in. She's got no real good projectile for zoning if she needs to, without using a cameo, of course. The air dashes are great, but they're just not super useful because there's a lot of anti-airs in the game. Natara just lacks a lot of tools that I want to see in a character. And again, though I've seen some crazy stuff with her, on a basic level, she's just not great. Next on my list is Havoc. Both Natara and Havoc are returning 3D era characters, and they just weren't done super well, in my opinion. Havoc, for an example, has a command grab, yes, but it's a pretty easy to read command grab combo, which then is super punishable. He's got projectiles, yes, but they're very slow and easy to react to. They're mainly just used for combo extension while you're already in hit stun. Plus, if you actually can use those projectiles effectively, your opponent's probably just gonna switch to Sub-Zero cameo and then essentially just negate those projectiles. He's got decent damage, sure, but he just feels a bit slow and a bit clunky at times. It can just be hard to get those combos in. You're not gonna win the zoning war for sure. I like having as a character a lot. I just don't think he's one of the best. Scorpion is the face of Mortal Kombat and always has been, but I'm not gonna lie, in Mortal Kombat 1, he's not the best. He's got no mix-up game without using a cameo. He's got an easy to see and react to teleport. The spear, though it's technically projectile, yes, it's super punishable. His play style is all about punishing his opponent for messing up on unsafe stuff, but that can be a really hard play style because a lot of characters are safe on a lot of their stuff, like Johnny and Raiden, so you having to rely on punishing, this can be super hard when you can't actually punish your opponent because they're safe on everything. I love Scorpion, he's a great character and I love this new version of him in this new universe, but when it comes to a playable character, he's just lacking a lot of tools that I wanna see. A returning fan favorite Reptile unfortunately does make this list of the top five worst. He's got no real good overheads, he's got some decent lows, sure. So honestly, just blocking low versus a Reptile is a great counterplay and then just reacting to the overheads when they come. A big aspect of playing Reptile is being able to go invisible, but that just takes way too long in a very fast paced fighting game like this. You can almost never get it off. The kit just feels a bit lackluster. It's nothing crazy that makes it stand out in a good way or a bad way, I guess. It's just it's just not great. And I love Reptile. I just don't think his kit's great. I know he gets a lot of flack for it, but Sub-Zero kind of belongs here, yeah. Kind of like Reptile, he's got one good overhead, so really you just block low and then react to the overhead, and that's a great counterplay for fighting Sub-Zero. His only real projectile is the Ice Ball, but that takes forever to start up, so it's super easy to react to. Sub-Zero doesn't have amazing damage. The only thing he's really got going for him is controlling the space of the field and the match with the Ice Clone. And though that's an amazing tool, I think it's one of the best. Once your opponent learns how to play around that Ice Clone, it's a really big uphill battle from there. I respect all the great Sub-Zero players out there. I just don't think he's a great character overall. Now, some honorable mentions you might put in your top five worst list, which I could see why you might. My first mention is Rain. He's got one really good play where he throws down that water portal on the floor, then goes for the overhead, creating that crazy hard to block mix up option. But besides that, all the mix he's got is actually pretty easy to read and react to. A really slow projectile, which is not great. He's got a high skill ceiling, yes. And I'm not saying that having a high skill ceiling automatically makes him a bad character. I just think that every battle is an uphill battle until you master him. And even then, his kit's just not awesome, in my opinion. I don't know, it's hard because I actually really do enjoy seeing Rain gameplay. I just know as a character, it's just not, it's just not a great kit, you know? My second honorable mention is Lee Mei. And I love Lee Mei. I love playing her. She's like my third main right now, but she's got no real mix. Like most of these characters on this list, you just block low and you'll be good most of the time. Because her launcher is low and it's very unsafe, so having the unsafe launcher sucks. She really relies on being up close to do a ton of damage anyways. She has a decent projectile, sure, but the lack of mix-up game and having to rely on cameos in a game like this is just very hard for Lee Mei players. So I could definitely see why you might put her in your top five worst, but she's an honorable mention for me. With that being said, though, again, this is all my opinion. Let me know down below who do you think
think is the top five worst characters in Mortal Kombat 1 and why. Did you agree or disagree with my list? Let me know. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, news, tutorials, and more.